hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will watch how we can use dependency injection using ninject in asp.net mvc so uh, you often need to implement repository pattern and we have to use a dependency injection in that case okay so the basic way of using dependency injection is to do it like this so uh, we have to uh, pass the interface over here and then we have to uh, use the repository for giving the memory so this is what we generally do when we want to inject the dependency uh, in the controller so I will just run it like this first So first we will see how it works normally and then we will see how we can change it to using the an inject dependency injection. So this is the employee um, section we have over here to uh, implement the functionality uh, with the repository pattern. Uh, so uh, you can see that currently we have not faced uh, any kind of error while loading the page but uh, now if we go back and uh, if we remove this from here and then you will receive the error that uh, uh, it is not uh, having properly assigned the memory so uh, in after that we will see how we have to add the ninject in this so till it runs the uh, application i will just show you so for using ninject you have to first install the nugget package ninject.mvc5 now this is specifically for mvc project so you have to install ninject.mvc5 in the project now after you done installing the package you have to go to So after you have done installing the package, you have to create two files and one is ninject resolver and the second is ninject web common. Okay, so um, we will need these two files. I will provide you the code, so don't worry about that part. So in the ninject resolver file, uh, you will see that it is in inherited from dependency resolver and here we have called this add binding method over here and this is calling the uh, this is actually uh, doing the initialization of the repository and interface so uh, here you have to add all the bindings that you need for your project and once you do that part now if we go to the global.exx file so in the global.exx file here in the application start method you have to use dependency resolver dot set resolver and here you have to add the class which we just uh, seen earlier uh, so here is the ninject resolver so you have to use this class here in the um, global SX file now once you do this you can go to the controller and we don't need this part uh, now you can simply use the interface file over here and we can directly use that in the uh, code so uh, first we will see the error that you will get if it is not working and then we will see uh, if it works after the uh, after using the inject dependency injection So uh, we will provide you the uh, link of the source code in the description of the video so uh, you can let us know the feedbacks from there. 
so now you can see if we click on the employee now it will give the error that no parameter less constructor defined for the object now this is basically because uh, we have commented out this line over here so now we can go to global ajax file and we will uncomment this dependence injection So now if we click on the employee over here then it will work fine because now it is using the inject resolver. Uh, so it will redirect on the page normally. So you can see this time it doesn't give the error. And you can uh, perform any operation over here. So this is just a demo project that we have just taken for uh, showing the operation uh, from the repository pattern. So uh, this is how you can implement an inject resolver in the ASP.NET MVC. If you have any issue then you can comment on the video. And about the code you can go to our official website codetonight.com and here you can search ninject and you will be able to find this dependency injection using ninject in asp.mvc so you can open up the blog and here you will be able to see the code that we just seen uh, in the video so thanks for watching guys